On Monday, November 7th, Wisconsin Department of Administration Secretary-Designee Kathy Blumenfeld, Department of Tourism Secretary-Designee Ann Sayers, Mayor Ryan Sorensen, and leaders from the Sheboygan Business Community visited local businesses highlighting the impact of Governor Tony Evers' pandemic recovery investments for economic and tourism development. During the visit, officials discussed ongoing recovery efforts. Ann and I have been traveling the state and uh, going to community and community after community and seeing the impact of some of the pandemic relief dollars. And we know that the Children's Museum was a recipient of uh, about Main Street Bounce Back uh, grant. And we just love to hear kind of the story of the pandemic, like how you guys survived, made it through, how you used the money. And, you know, we're here to listen and learn, but really also to celebrate you. Actually, it was an interesting time because we were mid uh, executive director change during the when the pandemic started. So when Jackie, who unfortunately couldn't be with us today, started, the place was empty. We were closed. Um, we originally tried to stay open and then realized that with uh, schools shutting down, the people that would be bringing kids to our museum would be grandparents. And that would just make us a, kind of a hot spot potentially for COVID. So we were closed for nine months, I believe, before we started to reopen on a reservation only basis. Mm -hmm. um, people could go online and book times. So we would allow, I think, four families at a time in the museum. Mm -hmm. um, and we did that for several months. Um, but if it weren't for the generosity of the grants and some of our donors and things like that, we never would have made it through the pandemic. Um, we don't have the kind of pockets that we can be closed for nine months, pay staff and, and stay open. It was crucial for us and Jackie did a great job being able to connect with Ryan and SCEDC and all of the other possible organizations that, that had connections to what was available to us because it's not always the easiest either is to just know what, what options are out there. So the city of Sheboygan has been a huge help for us too. As hard as the pandemic was on everyone, it's so great to see the creativity and innovation that really came out of it and that continues on even beyond uh, you know where we are today. So grateful. There's no way I would have been able to do this without that grant yeah. that you provided for me. When we invest in this way, um, it really does create equitable um, opportunities, but it also creates diversity in our offerings. And if we aren't offering things that are diverse, um, it's really hard to attract and retain workforce. It's really hard to attract tourism. Um, and certainly we all want to live in a place where we can look and feel um, included and, um, and we want to be there and we're excited to be there. And so we've got to continue to have programming like this. We were, uh, this was a, you know, unintended um, positive thing that came out of COVID, but it really was a wonderful experience because even from the Chamber of Commerce perspective, we uh, wrote letters um, in support of a number of small businesses either opening or expanding that absolutely would not have had the opportunity to do so otherwise. Mm -hmm. So as we move forward, what did we learn from this? That providing these opportunities is imperative. This is why we're here today, is to listen yeah. and mm -hmm. learn. Yeah. So that's really helpful uh, for yeah. us to hear and know. Um, and that's what we want to create is an economy that works for everyone, mm -hmm. um, that is just, mm -hmm. and you're doing just that. And so that's really helpful to kind of hear where things are at.